Remember watching the news night after night and seeing the oil spew into the Gulf? What a horrible feeling. You felt like you wanted to get in there and stop it because you knew if you did, there'd be less dead birds, less dead fish, more happy fishermen. I was thinking of the years and years it would take to reclaim a pristine Gulf. And I was aware that it was actually the government incompetence and collusion with the industry that allowed that kind of unsafe situation to happen in the first place. But I'm aware of a more intense, insidious environmental degradation that may never be able to be cleaned up. And again, just like the oil spill, you can trace it back to government incompetence and collusion and industry manipulation, putting out technologies that are not safe long before the science is ready. With the oil spill over time, years, maybe decades, it will dissipate, its effects will vanish. But what about the self-propagating genetic pollution? Once it gets out, it then spreads and spreads and cross-pollinates. It becomes a self-propagating pollution that can outlast the effects of global warming and nuclear waste. This is a impossible thing to clean up and we are bequeathing to all future generations the folly of this generation. Never before have we fed the products of an infant science to the entire population or released it into the environment without a way to fully recall it. So we need to cap the gene spill, put it back in the laboratory where it belongs. Maybe someday we can predictably and safely manipulate the DNA of plants and know what its impacts will be in the environment and in our bodies. But that day is far away.